Hey Intermediate Band, it's Mrs. Reese. This is a tutorial to let you know how you are going to complete and submit your first video submission that is to be graded starting this week. Normally during this part of the school year, um, we would be working on concert music, but we would also be working on things and rhythms that you're gonna see coming up as advanced band students next year. And I want to make sure that we all continue with this and stay on the same page. So what you're going to do for your video submission this week is you are going to follow the instructions that I have given you, which look like this. You're going to create a video of yourself either clapping and counting or playing the rhythm that you see. The catch is that you are going to be playing or clapping and counting this rhythm with a metronome. And a metronome is a device that's used to help keep time. You are going to have a metronome playing as you do this submission. Now, if you have issues with getting the metronome to be heard through the computer, I know I've already had some people tell me that this is an issue. If that's the case, then all you need to do is use your phone. There are a lot of different apps that are free that use a metronome. The one that I like to use is called Metro Timer. And you are going to set your metronome to 80 beats per minute in the instructions it says 80 BPM. And then you are going to use that throughout your submission. My recommendation to you, however, is as you are reading through your rhythm, you are not recording right off the bat. This is not a sight reading activity. This is prepare the rhythm and then go from there. I'm not going to demonstrate on your rhythm. I have another rhythm that I have selected. And this is the rhythm that I am going to be demonstrating. I'm only going to demonstrate the first four measures. So the first line, you're going to do all eight measures in your example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with clapping and counting, thinking that I have already taken a look at this a couple of times and I know um, what counts I'm looking for and I know what to expect when I get to the end of the line. So I'm going to turn on my metronome and it's at 80 beats per minute, which is going to feel kind of slow, but when we start adding the eighth notes in, it's going to be kind of rough. So as I'm looking at this, I am starting with a mezzo forte. I'm going to switch to piano, but I'm not going to move on to the second line. So I'm looking at the first line. I'm in 4-4 four, four time, starting in 1, 2. Here's clapping and counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, and 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Keep in mind, if you have a rest, your hands come apart because the rest signifies that there is no sound but that does not mean that the beat stops and if i have a note that is any longer than a quarter note make sure that you clap on the first count and then pulse for whatever amount you have left if you see in your example a dotted half note that looks like this or like this make sure it's three counts so i clap twice and then i pulse forward now if i'm using my instrument if you have your instrument you're going to be playing on your concert b flat which we've done before if you play flute or trombone you're going to be playing on your b flat if you play clarinet tenor sax trumpet you are going to bass clarinet you are going to be playing on your c and if you play an alto saxophone you're going to be playing on your g so keeping that in mind if you choose um, I'm sorry, if you all, also if you play baritone TC and you have your instrument at home, you will be playing a C as well. If you choose to play the rhythm instead of counting and clapping because you have your instrument at home, great. So you're going to set your metronome up. I'm going to count off and then I'm going to play the rhythm. One, two, here it goes. <laughs> I highly recommend that you do practice your rhythm a couple of times before you choose to record it and then submit it because your grade is going to be based on your ability to A, stay in time, and B, play the rhythm that you see. This is very similar to what we did for final exams when we had the sight reading, but you, you're going to have whatever amount of time that you need all week to prepare this and then record it and then submit it. When you record and submit, you can either send it to me through a message or you can submit it through the assignment submission, totally up to you, whichever version that you would like to do. If you have further questions or you're confused or you don't know how to do something, please reach out to me, send me a message, send me an email, do something so we can figure out how to make this work for you. Because from here to the end of the school year, this is going to be a large portion of your grade are these video submissions. Because I have to see that you are able to count rhythms, clap rhythms, stay in time, do these things in order to get us ready for the next level. So if you have questions, please reach out to me.